Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We've got a good one on tap today, and there's going to be two quarterbacks ready to get it done on the gridiron. It's the 49ers going up against the Cardinals. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 10 matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Kickoff looming in this NFC West matchup as we join you from Levi's Stadium. The Cardinals ready to get this action started. The 49ers are back deep, ready to return to kickoff. This game is underway. And he'll start his return. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. Garoppolo's heading out now for his first series. He's been one of the top passers this year. The 49ers snap it at the 31. Picks up eight here. They must keep our eye on the defense. If they keep giving up runs like this, they're going to have to change what they're doing on the defensive side. Maybe bring another guy down in the box to stop those runs. Second down and two to go after the running play. Get ready. Fire in the eight. Three. 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 Let's go. Fire in the eight. Fire in the eight. Second down and two. Davis got him on the handle. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. So many times you watch football games, the coaches just give up too early on the run game. Well, they'll keep it going today after that run. Decent pickup by the running back. The 49ers take it from the 43. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer. But these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. First down at the 37. McDonald makes the grab. Well, if you guard the tight end close, it, it, sometimes that doesn't matter. They're so big and they got long arms, they can still make the catch. Quarterbacks give them a chance, they get it done. Second down, three for the first. Vance McDonald with the reception. Tackle made by Ray that time. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. Here's the first snap after the big play. Three-step drop, and that'll probably go as a drop. 
get a look at the 49ers line up on offense today. One of the poorer offensive units in the league. Always, it seems, not only making mistakes, but having a difficult time moving the chains. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. And Davis is going to secure. Touchdown, San Francisco. Running it in for the seventh time on the season. Not everybody's able to run the football in near the goal line for scores anymore in the offense. It's just too hard. But this offense, tough. The offensive line, give them credit. They gave the running back enough room, and they got in there for the score. The 49ers were very effective on that scoring drive, especially via the pass. Over 50 passing yards on that scoring drive. There's been all kinds of buildup and anticipation, and now the rookie quarterback heads onto the field for his first series. Yeah, I think things have changed so much over the years. These quarterbacks, especially these rookies, they're so much more ready to play than previous years. They get to throw the football a lot in college, a lot in high school, so they come in the NFL to prepared and ready to go. Whoop, was that a false start? Oh, yeah, that was. That was easy to see. Even with your bad eyes as you get older, you can see that he moved before he snapped the ball. Still first down. First down at the 15. Taylor is going to secure the handoff. Johnson's there to make the tackle. And now we'll look at the Cardinals offense. They don't scare anyone when it comes to their running attack. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Taylor is going to take the handoff now. And now here's the 49ers defense. They are one of the best in the NFL when it comes to total defense. This is third down. The 49ers defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Takes it from the gun. Reaches out and snatches it. What did their defensive coordinator say to us on Friday, Phil? Something like third down is where we need to win this football game. He's got to be pleased with what he's seen so far. Absolutely. They love it. Third down defense is what it's all about in the NFL. And the defense came through that time with a nice stop. That's a gain of six. The Cardinals defense. Let's see where they are mentally here, Phil, after allowing a touchdown. Well, they got to have some motivation after that last drive. It was so poor. It's about discipline. We didn't see it from their defense. So... This time, go out there and just do your job. Davis is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. The Cardinals lined up in the nickel. The 49ers will take the snap from the 45. Picks up maybe three. And here's the Cardinals defense. They know they need to force turnovers today, coming off a game in which they had no takeaways. Mm -hmm. 
Second down coming up. Let's go. Three, three. Trying to beat the play clock. Let's go. Davis taking the handoff. Gains five. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it, and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Third and two. The 49ers get a first down. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. The football sits at the 40. Let's Davis go. in the backfield. Single back set. The 49ers will take the snap from the 40. And Gaines, maybe four. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Davis is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Let's go. Two, that is bad. Two, that is bad. Torrey Smith with the catch. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down, Jim. That's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. It's intercepted. On his way. The 40. The 30. They bring him to the turf. What a job by the linebacker that time making that interception. Gets in good position. And what a pair of hands. A linebacker who could do it all. The Cardinals offense comes back onto the field. Let's see if they can move the chains this time because the last possession was ugly. They weren't out there very long. Jim, you know how I think in situations like this, I think it's more up to the coach than the players. Call a play that really catches the defense off guard so you can get an easy gain and get the momentum on your side and get it rolling. This will be second down. The 49ers come out in a dime package. They'll go shotgun here. And incomplete. Didn't get his feet down. Nice job that time by the defensive player. He is all over the receiver in this man-to-man -man coverage. And there was just nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. The 49ers defense now is going to go nickel. He'll throw it over the middle. And it's swatted away. The Cardinals put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. The kick is good. With almost an entire quarter in the books, they at least have a field goal to brag about. Jim, it's kind of like a round of golf. You know a lot about that. Sometimes you don't birdie or par the first couple holes, but it's a long contest. It's a long game, and I think they got their confidence going with that field goal. The 20, the 10. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. You can never talk enough about special teams in the NFL. It truly the third of the game and when you get a kick return for a touchdown that just gives you so much momentum look at the blocks look at the speed of the returner great job leads to a touchdown no return the ball's coming out to the 20. 
the Cardinals put some points on the board on the previous possession. Although it was just a field goal, Phil, they'll be looking to add some more right here. Oh, absolutely. I think they were disappointed in that last drive. You got it going. You think here comes a touchdown and it doesn't work and you kick a field goal. So a little disappointed. That should give them some momentum to get tougher and make this happen and get a touchdown. That false start penalty will push them back five yards. False start offense. The Taylor's lined up as the single back. First down at the 15. Brought down after picking up 14 on the play. Well, he's in the NFL because of this. Because this guy can break tackles. Good job on that play. Second and one coming up. We're through one quarter, and we'll take a short break as you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Gatorade. Win from within. The Cardinals still driving as the second quarter gets underway. The second quarter is underway with this snap. Taylor is brought down after picking up six on this play. Taylor's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. The 49ers with a nickel look here on defense. First down at the 35. This goes incomplete as he was looking over the middle. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch. Not able to get it, but what a job and effort. The Cardinals will take the snap from the 35. He's got the catch. Taylor's met at the 37. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. It's third down coming up. The Cardinals will look to get to the 45 to pick up a first down. From the gun. This will be ruled incomplete. Didn't get the feet down. The Cardinals really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. This will end up in the end zone for a touchback. The 49ers, and I have to wonder, where are they going to be mentally after that last drive when they were moving the football only to give it away on an interception? How are they going to be out there on this possession? Well, I think it's tough. I really do, Jim. You know, nowadays, quarterbacks, it seems like all we judge them on, do they throw interceptions or not? And once you throw one, it's out there. You've got to get over that middle block and you've got to keep playing hard and aggressive football, that's the only way you can have success. Second and three. Davis handed the football. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Davis is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Get ready. Fire in the air. Fire in the 
The 49ers from the 32. Davis with the reception. Cars in on the tackle. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. The 49ers snap it at the 36. Picks up about five. When you're going against a really athletic defense, there's nothing like reverses and the counter run game because they see it, they go, and you counter it, and that's why it works to perfection. The wide receiver in motion. They better hurry to get the snap. And Davis has got it on the handle. Gains about three. Davis is able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. First down here after the run. and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. First down here after the completion. They're going back up top. Pulls it in. That's a gain of eight. The 49ers coaching staff has done a good job of mixing things up today on first down. The pass catches the defense off guard. They pick up solid yards. Now it's second and short. Garoppolo's completion percentage, 80% on the day. Second down and two. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. He's now over 50 yards rushing on the day. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. The Cardinals will come out in the dime. Let's go. First down at the 32. They'll mark him at the 28. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. The 49ers take it from the 28. McDonald makes the grab. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. You got to be agile when you make these kind of catches, running these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. Garoppolo's now completed four in a row. Play clock's running down. second quarter they put up another touchdown Phil well they got a nice lead they like to take this in at halftime and if you're the coach of the team that's leading at halftime you know what you tell your players hey guys good job let's keep that going you pat them on the rear and tell them how good they are because hey this has been a clinic so far in the first half picks up the football at the six gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24 Larry Fitzgerald taking the field once again. He's been off his game in this first half, Bill. Yeah, it's been an awful game all around, but the star wide receiver is having an absolute terrible day so far. And if they want to win, he better pick it up, find ways to get open, and hope this quarterback gets him the football. That's his first reception today. The Cardinals coaching staff, they have been smart today. They are keeping everybody off balance, even me. I thought for sure they would run the football, but no, they come out on first down, they throw it, they pick up solid yards. Good job by them. 
Glad to have you back as we come out of the two-minute warning here in the first half. The Cardinals snap it at the 31. Looking across the middle. Third down. Drop back, shotgun formation. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. Hurry up, two-minute offense. First down at the 47. Craig Stevens comes down with it. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Nice job that time by the tight end makes the catch, and you got to look out for him now in the NFL. Remember, they're usually the closest receiver to the quarterback. Quarterback gets in trouble. He's going to look for the tight end. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. And it's batted down. try over again on second down. Get ready. Two, two, one is From the gun. Fitzgerald had it, but couldn't hold on as this goes incomplete. Got to give the secondary credit. This passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there in another incomplete pass. Coming to the line. 24. The 49ers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Stands in the pocket. Intercepted. The 49ers have impressed today with some of these deep passes. Garoppolo's been showing off that cannon he has for an arm. Yeah, he's got it all, doesn't he? When you watch him throw the football down the field, you can see the arm strength. But the biggest thing is you can see that wonderful touch on the football. He is laying that football in there right on the money. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. the return able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23 and there is Alden Smith he's been the leader for them in what's been a terrific defensive effort up to this point partner and you know what he does he brings energy to the defense there's no question about hey, that and I love the way he plays it just rubs off on all of his teammates Coming up. The 49ers with two extra defensive backs in the dime. And that pass is just thrown away. Well, when you get in a situation like this, Jim, and you get third and long, I'll tell you what catches the defense by surprise. Run a double move on the outside against the defensive back. 
because everybody in the stands and the defensive players all think you're going to throw it short. The Cardinals take it from the 23. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. The 49ers call a timeout. They're first. The Cardinals will punt the football. into the end zone for a touchback. The 49ers offense enjoying an outstanding first half here, partner, and they're sitting on a pretty comfortable lead as we draw near the break. Yeah, their offense is playing well. Now, on the defensive side, what you have to do, you're getting beat up a little bit, so go in there at halftime, make some changes, call some different defensive formations to give your players a much better chance of success. The Cardinals lined up in the nickel. First down at the 20. Davis is going to secure the handoff. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Loss of two on that play. Second down and 12. Jones has got the catch and the first. Mercifully, the first half has come to an end. We have a blowout on our hands here today. Larry is coming up with some very one-sided highlights. Okay, Larry, looking sharp back in that studio. Thank you for that. And now we're ready to get the third quarter underway as these teams take the field. The Cardinals have had a game they'd like to forget, and it hasn't been getting any prettier for them in the second half. Well, sometimes there's days like this, Jim. You know, I don't know what it's like. I've, I've never been in this type of situation, but it's been rough out there. It's not going your way, but just hang in there. Reads all over that offense and brings him down. The 49ers defense is so fast and so powerful. That time on the run play, they just overpower the offensive line. And they tackle the runner for a loss. Second and 12. Completion to Fitzgerald. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. On the way, third down. The 49ers set at the line. Dime package. From the shotgun. Throws the pass. Tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Well, that'll make you feel a little better. Finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. Let's go. Now first and ten. Stevens with the grab. Brought down at the 38. That's reception number two for him. The Cardinals did a good job there on first down. That pass picks up some good solid yards. Now second and short. Much easier to call those kind of plays. The Cardinals lined up. Everybody split out wide. They'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Brown's got it on a pass. Had some heat on it. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. First down at the 49. And he just tosses it incomplete. Second down following that incompletion. Taylor's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Dropping back three. Hankerson with the grab. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. 
That out route that time was run to perfection by the receiver. He made such a sharp cut. He gets gives himself some space from the defender, and the quarterback puts the football right on target, just short of that first down ball. Look at the signals. The D-line is all shifting down inside. They're expected to run right up the middle. The defense had that one covered. The Cardinals will second-guess that play call. That time on third short, they throw the football. Everybody thought they were going to run it. They were trying to be too clever, and it backfired. Now it's fourth down. They have just flipped field position thanks to that punt, and now the offense is really backed into a corner. The 49ers offense takes the field. Let's see if this momentum can carry over from the first half because they have been brilliant to this point, Parker. Yeah, a lot of things change in that locker room at halftime. You know, you you might feel good about what you've done. Of course, you got to realize the defense might be upset and is willing to come out here and take more chances in the second half. Nice run that time. You run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Get ready. Three, three. Go, let's go. Grab 38. Grab 38. It's second down and three. Nile Davis with the catch. The 49ers are in front thanks to their quarterback. Garoppolo's done everything he can to keep his team on top. He has been so efficient here today. Very smart making decisions. And when you put those two things together, that's why your football team is winning. He's now over 60 yards rushing on the ground. Tick, 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 tick. That's what we're trying to do. Make that clock keep running down. You got the offense out there. You got a big lead in the second half. Every first down you get shortens that football game. First down at the 21. Outside now on the toss. And that's Holly in on the stop. Davis is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. The 49ers take it from the 23. Carr nearly came away with the pick. Third and seven following the incompletion. receiver who has put together a complete game Phil it has been a tremendous game Jim no doubt about it now we understand why guys want to be wide receivers in the NFL instead of running back so many more ways to get the football and much easier to make plays happen once you get it Davis is never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go hey well, there's nowhere to go that's a short game The Cardinals defense now is going to go nickel. Second and six. Gets the handle here. Washington in on the play. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting. And they hold the running back to a short game. Now third and five after the run. Takes his spot in the backfield. And he hauls it in. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. 
Well, in a situation like this, you got a big lead, fourth and short near midfield. Why would you go for it? I don't even know what they're hesitating about over there. As soon as they didn't get that first down, I'd have had that punt team sprinting to the field. Don't even give yourself a chance to second guess yourself and make a bad decision. Punt the football. The 49ers will take the snap from the 45. Davis tackled down at the 43. He's averaging about four yards a carry. The Cardinals defense not able to make the stop there, and they'll have to stay on the field a little bit longer. Well, sometimes when it's fourth and short, the toughest man wins, and that time the defense was not the toughest unit. Let's go. First down and 10. Very nearly intercepted. Mounting a serious drive. Second down and 10. Davis going to take the handoff now. The 38-yard line. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. This will be the offense's 12th play of the drive. The 49ers have to get to the 33 for a first. Third down and four. Tosses the football. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. He'll try this one from 55. No good. An empty trip for the offense. We're heading to the fourth quarter in what has been a completely one-sided affair. I'd ask you if a comeback is possible, but when it's this margin, Phil, I'm a realist. You are. You are a realist, Jim. And, you know, when you're behind, like you are a lot of times when we play golf by the 14th or 15th hole, you know it's over. But we finish it out. And you know what? Same here in this football game. They got to go ahead and finish this game out. The Cardinals trail right now. And just a quick look at their passing numbers. And they're not anywhere close to what we're accustomed to seeing. Yeah, Jim, those numbers are bad. And this team, they have been so good on the offensive side. Even when they lose, they have very good numbers. The final quarter underway now with this snap. Middle of the field and incomplete this time. Well, I think it's important for the defense. Anytime it's a third and long situation for the offense to know where those first down markers are, give a little ground, and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker. That last pass incomplete, and it brings up third down. Taylor's the receiver on the screen. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Something we've seen time and time again, Phil, this offense just looking like they're out to sea. And it'll result in yet another empty possession. Well, out to sea means they're not playing well. They look like they're not interested, and they're not working hard, and they're not hustling. And I say yes, this team and this offense especially is out to sea. Offense. Offense is back on the field on fourth and eight. The Cardinals will look to get to the 45 to pick up a first down. Out of the shotgun. Looking long. The Cardinals turn the ball over on downs. Early in the fourth, and this offense has to be hoping this game will mercifully end. Oh, man, are, are they ever. So's the defense, so are we, and so are the fans. It has been a rough day out there, and uh, better luck next week. When one quarterback plays well and the other doesn't, that can lead to a pretty one-sided affair like we've had here today. Yeah, it has been one-sided, but look, there's always reasons why a quarterback plays well or doesn't, Jim. It truly is a team game. 
on the offensive side, and the good numbers come from the offensive line that played well, and the bad numbers come from an offensive line that really struggled here today. The Cardinals with a nickel look here on defense. First down at the 48. Picks up eight here. He's now over 80 yards rushing on the day. The Cardinals have counted on this defense to keep them in games this year, but so far that unit has been absolutely manhandled. Yeah, this is a game they are not used to, that is for sure. And what you're doing on the defensive side, you get in that huddle, and you just want somebody to make a play to turn this game around and get your defense off the field. Second and two. Davis taking the handoff. And Branch is the one who made the big stop. The 49ers offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Let's go. Garoppolo's back in shotgun formation. Almost intercepted. Well, you got a big lead. Fourth and short near midfield. Why would you even think about going for it here? Boy, that is just taking an unneeded chance. What, do you want to get the other team back in the game by making a bad coaching decision? I don't think so. I think they'll punt. The 49ers will go for it here on fourth down and short. The Cardinals defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. The 49ers snap it at the 41. Alexander's got it on a pass that had some heat. The Niners go for it on fourth and short and convert. How about that call? Yeah, I like the decision. Fourth and short. I like the odds. The offense is going to get the job done. They call a nice play and they convert. Pick up that fourth down attempt. First down, following the long play. The 49ers all bunched up here as they get set at the line. Down the field. At the 20-yard line and now in the red zone. Second and ten. And Davis is handed the football. He's up over 90 yards so far on the day. The 49ers have been fantastic on offense today. And that's big for this team because the offense has struggled oftentimes this season. Well, to say they've struggled oftentimes this season is a big understatement, Jim. They've been borderline awful. But maybe they have found something that's going to work for them and get them on the right path. Third down and two. The give. That's a gain of seven. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? Coming up to the line at the five. Get ready. First and goal. They'll run it here. And picks up maybe three or four. I don't even want to hear about it. They score here. They're running up the score. They're winning big. They're down near the goal line. They're probably going to run it. You know, on defense, you're allowed to compete, too, and stop. Second down. Let's go. Grand 38. Grand 38. Davis has got it on the handoff. Over the line. Touchdown. I felt like I could have said this in the first quarter instead of waiting until midway through the fourth. But this game is over. It is. <laughs> you know, Jim, yeah, the way you said it is a there's a finality to it, no question. And the losing in, the coaches, the players, they got to go back. They got to do a lot of soul searching because this was one pitiful effort. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. 
the Cardinals are experiencing a little bit of a drought here offensively, having gone three straight possessions without a score. What do you think needs to be done to buck that trend here, partner? I'd say it's a little more than a drought. This is some awful offense, and there's many things you've got to do. You've got to tell your offensive line to pick things up. When the offensive line is aggressive, it gives all the stars a chance to succeed, and that's what they got to do here. Offensive line, get it going. All you can do is your job, and that was a good job by the offense, picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. Can't hold on here as this goes incomplete. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. The 49ers go with the dime formation here on defense. The Cardinals have it at the 39. Hankerson makes the play. Taken down at the 45. That's his fifth catch of the day. The defense, they have a lead here in the fourth quarter, so they're willing to give up short pass completions, but good job by the offense. It'll be third down. From the gun. Hankerson with the grab. And he'll step out of bounds. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. Touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. The 49ers counted on the passing game early, but it slowed down after a hot start. Garoppolo's tried to adjust to the defense, but it hasn't worked out. Well, he's tried, but listen, there's nothing he can do about the offensive line. It's not been as sharp, and I'll tell you what, when an offensive line is not sharp, our quarterback's going to lose confidence. Get ready. Grand 38. Grand 38. First down at the 20. Davis with the reception and pick up about four. Well, that's a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Let's go. Two, that is bad. Two, that is bad. Second down and six. Davis going to secure the handoff. Gains 12. He's now past the 100 yard mark on the day. Good job by the offense here with a good lead in the second half, picking up that first down, and that's what you want to do. Take your time, look at the play clock, take it down as low as you can, and keep picking up those first downs. First down at the 36. Makes the catch in open space. That's his sixth catch of the day. Taking another look at the stats here, we have a wide receiver who has put together a complete game, Phil. It has been a tremendous game, Jim, no doubt about it. Now we understand why guys want to be wide receivers in the NFL instead of running back. So many more ways to get the football and much easier to make plays happen once you get it. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. The 49ers had a tight victory a week ago, and they seem to be thinking now, why keep it close in this one? They've been in control from the start of this one, Phil. That tight victory last week, it just, Jimmy, just gave them confidence, and they have come out today, and right from the very start, they have been hot, and they have been smoking. What a job of it. The 49ers have really been able to run the ball today, and it's been a huge reason why they lead. Davis dominated on the ground. There is nothing like dominating a football game physically. They have overwhelmed the defense and a good job by the offensive coordinator managing this game today. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. With drop back. Torrey Smith on the receiving end.
when you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, the quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Stepping up to the line of scrimmage, the 22-yard line. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Davis going to take the handoff now. And a gain of four. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Well, this is not a surprise, Jim. This is what you do. You run the football. You play the clock. This is called managing the game. And it's all up to the head coach getting this done. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Second and six. Toss to the outside. Cars all over the ball carrier. Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you. And how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish I could say the same that I enjoyed spending these <laughs> last three hours with you. But that's just not the case. But no, just kidding, of course. Nice win. They got to feel good about what they've done and uh, uh, celebrate a little tonight. I think I'll see you next week. Maybe. For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.